For the past five years, the National Bureau of Statistics, in collaboration with the National Primary Health Care Agency and the United Nations Children's Fund, have been working on the sixth edition of the Multiple Indicator Cluster Survey and National Immunization Coverage Survey Report. And as the report is being launched here, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Bureau of Statistics states that each report comes with improvements. A completely new questionnaire, which focuses on children aged 5 to 17, was introduced under this sixth round of the mix. This questionnaire deals with issues such as foundational learning, child functioning, and parental involvement. 39,000 households made up the survey, conducted by over 500 enumerators across the country, checking over 200 indicators. The report reveals that child mortality before the age of five decreased from one in eight children in 2016 to one in 10 children in 2021. Exclusive breastfeeding rates increased from 24% to 34%. Children registered at birth increased from 47% to 57%, while child marriage reduced from 44% to 30%. For the United Nations Children's Fund, the picture is a mixed one. Regional disparities still exist, and this is probably the most important part of the multi-indicator cluster survey outcome, that we need to be looking at the disparities as well as the absolutes. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Shimbajo, represented by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, states that the importance of this report cannot be overstressed. The report focuses on child health and nutrition, which is in tandem with the National Nutrition Policy and Multisectoral Plan of Action for Food and Nutrition in Nigeria. The data users and researchers working on social economic development areas will find the data in this report useful because the MIX-6 and the NIC report are central to the needs of all relevant survey stakeholders in the development space. Thank you very much. This almost 800-page report details a lot of successes that have been made since 2016, uh, improved breastfeeding for children, a reduction in child marriage that has been spoken of by many of the people who spoke at today's program. But there are still many lapses. Uh, there are regional discrepancies. And of course, there's also the fact that many primary health care centers do not have proper staffing. And those are some of the things that need to be addressed if Nigeria is to meet its developmental goals. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News. Yes. <laughs>